Hey guys, it's Ariel. Can you even see me? I don't know how good the lighting is. Um, sorry, this is like the first time I've vlogged in I don't know how long. TV, you are really loud. Um, so, good morning. It's April 25th, which is Fort Rock, and I'm extremely nervous. It's 8 a.m. I've already been up for two hours. I have four interviews and nine to 11 sets to cover today. Um, at a venue I've not had the best luck with before, and I'm frankly uh, nervous. I'm more nervous than excited. However, I am excited because Pop Roach is there, so I get to see Pop Roach for the second time tonight, and I'm so excited for that. Um, and We Are Harlot is there, and I've only gotten to see Danny live. I say Danny because I've never seen We Are Harlot, obviously, because they're newer. Um, I think this is one of their first I don't know if it is one of their first, but it seems like it's one of their first shows. It's among the first probably 50. Um, which I think is really cool that I get to see them in. But I've seen Danny with Ask Him Andrew once, and the sound system was horrible, So and Danny was drunk, so he didn't sound so hot. But I'm hoping today will go really, really well. I'm, like I said, extremely nervous. I have everything packed. Um, do you want me to go through it all real quick? Um... I have a folder with my media stuff. Um, I'll actually have to show you at some point the parking pass because it's really cool and I want to I want to keep it and like frame it. It's nothing special really, but it says Fort Rock at the top in big letters. It says media and it's purple, so I think that's really cool. I have two cameras, um, extra batteries, um, a hat, my wallet, fear by Popper just in case I run into them, which it's highly unlikely, but it is slightly possible. Like there is a probably point something percent chance um it depends on if i get to go anywhere i don't know if i'm actually going to be able to vlog anything else and if i'm not able to vlog anything else you guys aren't even going to see this so who knows about that um patrick's going to come get me he's coming with me frankly i'm excited for him to come with me for this because he has never been back for an interview with me ever he's heard about him but that's it so i'm kind of excited for him to um be able to experience it with me because it's something he has never experienced he has never seen me in my element like this um frankly i have a feeling he and i are going to get into an argument at some point because when i get into my element like this i actually get really stressed out because things do go wrong it's in a, it's inevitable um anyway back to what i have um like i said on my two cameras the one i'm holding and this one um they're both nikon cool picks by the way um my interview questions i have interviews today with um lola black um young guns star set maybe and vamps and um i say maybe about um star set shut up grace i'm watching the grace hell big show um, but, let's see, what was I saying? I'm not exactly with it yet, I need to finish my soda <laughs> and wake up a little bit more. Um, oh, the reason Star Set's a maybe is because it's weird. Um, they're going to be at the media tent between 4.30 and 5.30, and, um, it's first come, first serve, and I'm not going to be able to make it right away, because at 4.25, Vamps goes on stage and I have to cover them because I'm interviewing them too so I cannot miss their set um, at least the first few minutes because um, you can only cover the first three songs that's just the standard thing and um, it's kind of a situation like that um, so I might get to do it I might not I did come up with questions last night I got one with Lola Black which I feel bad about this, but I have never heard of them. I only heard a clip of one song last night because I was scrambling to come up with questions at midnight. <laughs> um, because they didn't contact me until 10.30 and I was working on other interview questions, so I was frantically working on questions till midnight. <laughs> um, and then I woke up at 6 a.m. <laughs> um, and I have an errand I have to run with Patrick beforehand, so... This is going to be a long fucking day. Like I said, I'm going to try and vlog the best I can. This might end up being never seen. This might end up being two vlogs. It might be a very long one. I don't know. Um, all the interviews are going to be filmed, except for maybe Star Set, depending on situations. Um, 
I don't know. I don't think I'm actually going to be able to film most of the sets or anything, but I might incognito try. I don't think I'm going to manage because I they did say no filming is allowed, but I'm media, so maybe it's slightly different. I don't know. We'll find out. Um, I'm going to quit rambling because I, I really want to give you guys like the full itinerary, but I you'll just you'll see it over the day um i'm gonna go back to watching the grace Hellbig show talk to you guys later i'm aggravated the batteries fell out and i deleted everything we just filmed like a whole thing for like the last five minutes <sighs> grr we're on our way to the venue i will yeah, no. <clears throat> i am a little bit less nervous but still there um patrick's with me and this was so much better before the batter decided to jump out of the camera. <laughs> was it? Yes. I don't know if you captured my awesomeness as good as you should. <laughs> I captured a lot of it. Oh, is that so? Yes. Well, damn. It was so bad it made you delete it. Nah, you're pretty cool. I know. Pretty cool. Awesome. So you make me admit it, and then you... Do that. <laughs> Stroke my own ego? Mm hmm. It's next closest thing to jacking off. <laughs> what? Don't worry about it. I don't understand guy logic sometimes. Or proof I am actually a girl. I think there's other proof of that. There is some other proof of that, but. Not all at once because so many people seem to think otherwise. I'm like, no. Well, we all know you're a girl, but it, whether or not you're a lesbian is a different story. Definitely not. No? Oh. <laughs> not even the curious tendencies? <clears throat> well, that's there, but... I kissed a kid, I liked it. Good talk. None of that? Yes. Oh. Well. I admit that. I'm not shy. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's trying to get it or see if I'll cut it out, but no. I don't care. I've, been, I've said that on the internet before. <sighs> I've said most things on the internet at some point. Hopefully not about me. Some things. Some things? Some things. <laughs> I have to. I have to promote your damn band. <laughs> yeah, that's important. Keep doing that. <laughs> exactly. Um, yeah, so I don't know if I'll be able to film more later if I, if I can't. This may or may not get posted. I kissed a kid. I liked it. Thank you. Now I got that stuck in my head. You're the one that starts singing it. I can't help it. It's catchy. <laughs> it's a I'll good song. I'll give her that. It uh, has a good hook. It's a good song. I, I currently have... I song, but it has a good hook. I currently have all time low, and I have an email, so I'm going to stop texting so I can talk to you later. Hi. <laughs> so I have no idea if you could even fucking hear me. Probably not. Um, I'm waiting on an interview because it got screwed up. Somebody didn't tell me I had to be escorted, so nobody knew that. And then, yeah. So I'm waiting on Lola Black right now. They're doing her meet and greet. And she's filming in a crowd. Of so I have, like I said, I have no idea. Um, yeah, we're, I'm just hoping all of this works out. Right now, I'm not sure. Or in a good mood. We'll see. Just how they 
did, they didn't speak English very well, which I understand, because um, they are from Japan. Um, and they were very chill. They were very, very chill. Like I'm really hoping the camera picked it up because they all were very soft spoken. Even the translator. Their handshakes were very. They were. I feel like that's part of the culture, though. Yes. Um. And no, I feel like we learned a lot. Not even about them, but about Japan. And I thought it was cool. So I'm like, I was kind of worried considering the language barrier, but it ended up being pretty neat. And I didn't really think the language barrier was really much. No, it really wasn't, because they came prepared. <laughs> they seemed to be understanding. They could have been faking it like I was. Um, no, so I am done with all my obligations that were slipped out for the day. We saw so, Maria Brinka. We saw Maria Brinka backstage. She was on a golf cart. <laughs> and we were walking past, and I'm like, there's somebody on the back of that. Oh, yeah. Mandy, did you see who that was? And she's like, yep. So, yeah, we have interviewed Lola Black, Young Guns, and um, Starset. Mandy was very happy with Starset. Her husband is going to be very jealous. Um, yeah, honestly, things cleared up once things start going. Because apparently, come to find out, this kind of helped knowing that I'm not the only one that got fucked up. Everything got fucked up. Like, we talked to the radio station. She even was like, I don't know what the fuck's going on. She goes, everything got changed. I was told somebody canceled when they didn't. Blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, okay, that makes me feel better then. At least it's not just me. Because I felt like it was just me. Um, so now we're in line to get merch. Because before, this was all the way through the whole festival. And I was actually told that it didn't get here until an hour after the doors opened. But normally that's not hours before anybody gets here. 